Well, hello everybody. Another lazy hot day out here in the old garage. It's 83, but the humidity has came down. And I noticed a huge difference from, well, yesterday I didn't open the side door up. I opened it up now and I'm getting a nice cool breeze. Well, I can feel it right here, two feet from the thing. Nice cool breeze. So, what the hell, look at a bunny rabbit running across the backyard. I got a bunny nest in that pile of trees there. And he is right there. I don't know, where's my finger? Right there. Yeah, like he's going to come to me. There, bunny. It looks like nothing, but he's right dead center in your screen. Anyways. Never mind the damn bunny. Um, oh, there's Brett. So, I've kind of changed my mind because what I'm going to do here is, um, like I said, the shower pan is going to sit four inches back further than the toilet, which means when I put a wall through here, the toilet's going to be this far away from the wall. How can I fix that before there's concrete? Well... I can take my shower and I can put 245s on it and bring it up and move that pipe forward because it's basically just sitting in sand. And I think I got enough room to move the drain forward um, four inches. That way, that way there'll be a solid wall like this. You know what I mean? So. You know, the toilet will back up against the wall and the shower will back up against the wall and it'll be one straight wall. I won't have to, like, um, jog in, you know, go from the shower and then cut back in four inches to the toilet, you know? So I think I might do that. But I might as well. Um, Kyle's coming, I think, Saturday to look at this job. And he's just going to be the, the leveler. Wow, I'm getting a nice breeze in here now. But I was looking for a 2x4. Hang on a minute. Hang on so I give you a better idea of what's going on here. Okay, I set this up to make it go a lot quicker for us. So it's a 32-inch shower. And it's not as bad as actually I, I thought it was going to be. So a 32-inch shower, half of that is 16. So there's 16 in the center of the pipe. Okay, now if I continue my wall straight down through, like the, the square here is on it, that will put the, my toilet center at about 13 and a half, which should be about 12. So you know something? I might just be okay. Um, sometimes you rough them in at 13 because um, you have to count, account for uh, whatever's on the wall behind it. So this is just a dead wall. This doesn't show like any sheetrock or wood on it. So sometimes people rough them in at 13, but the standard is 12. So I'm an inch and a half off, which isn't bad. And don't forget, um, this wall is going to end. Do, 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 do. So now we measure eh, roughly... 16 inches from this side so that's going to put the end of the wall right here so the width of my whole bathroom bathroom wall will be right here don't look at this l part so bathroom wall will come straight through here to now i can probably actually just do six foot i can do six foot because the vanity is only 21 inches, so that gives me 32 for the door. Yeah, that would actually work. And then that would give me this extra space from here to the wall to put a breakfast nook in and my little refrigerator and stuff. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a huge bathroom. And then I'd have to put the penny floor in. I'd have to do all this in pennies. If I'm going to do the penny floor thing, I'm not sure yet. Seems like an awful lot of bullshit to mess around with, but you never know. 
So that's not as bad as I thought. So I don't think I'm going to even mess with it. I think I'm going to leave it just like that. But what I was hoping, my plan was to anchor into this, which I still might do. I might run a, you know, I'm going to have to run a main wall down through here. And um, so it's going to be like one two by four more over this way. And so there'll be a wall and then another wall. So I'll insulate, I'll put insulation in between the two walls, if you know what I'm saying. So this is, you know, my other wall I'm going to put up running from this main beam to that main beam. I'm going to have this much space to pack in a couple pieces of that foam insulation. Because this 12 by 12 room is going to be wicked insulated. Um, especially the bathroom. This doesn't matter out here. This out here doesn't need nothing. Okay, so there's that. That figured out. I wanted to come out because I wasn't sure if I was thinking right. I was thinking of 12 and 16 being four inches off, but now that I'm double checking stuff, it's not as bad. So yeah, I'm leaving. I'm not gonna do anything because that little bit of an inch and a half ain't gonna matter crap. Go look at your toilet at home. Is your toilet tank right tight against the wall? Or is there just a little bit of play? There's probably a little bit of play. And you can actually buy one of those over-the-toilet storage things. It would hide all that anyway. So we'll see what's going to happen. So if you guys have noticed, on a lot of my videos, um, the long videos, People stick commercials in the middle of them all the way through. I don't do that. I uncheck the box that says that. So this is what it kind of looks like there. And I said, no, I don't want commercials in the middle of my videos because it pisses me off when I go, you just start getting into somebody's video and then there's a commercial. It's like, come on already. You know, I hate them enough, but they're the ones that helps pay the bills. Um, 90.7% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. Um, I guess they're just passing through. Um, you know, you don't even have to donate money to my channel. If you would just subscribe, I mean, that would help out huge if you just subscribe. Um, the more subscribers and the better I am. And nobody, you know, has to hear me say, you know, donate if you want, blah, 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 you know, and uh, and so on. Um, so, because my, my YouTube money's dropping, uh, I don't know what happened. It was going up for a while and then it's dropped. Last month, I didn't get any money. This month, I got um, the two months of I don't know, $80 and $81, something like that. So, which I just spent at Chewy.com for cat litter and food for my pets. So, everything went up. My cat litter went up a dollar a bag. My cat food went up a dollar a bag. I'm like, come on, this is ridiculous. So I got off the phone with Straight Talk, which is this phone service here, Straight Talk. I had the Platinum plan where all you can talk, unlimited this, unlimited that. And I'm like, you know something? That's like 70 a month. And I'm like, I'm not driving truck anymore. I don't need all that internet because I used to kill time watching videos. Now I'm home. I'm using my Wi-Fi. So I called up Straight Talk and I downgraded myself all the way down to the lowest plan you could get, which is bronze, which is $35 a month. Um, so I just did that. Um, my house insurance was costing me $841 a month. They have my house replacement assessed at $158,000. You know, when I bought this shithole, there's a few things that I did. First off, it's a freaking double wide, if you don't know. It's a goddamn double wide. It's on a frame. They rolled it in, put it on a slab. We put a fake concrete wall around it to make it look like a real home. Underneath the house, there's metal jack stands holding the freaking place up. So I paid 40, 40 grand for this back in 2002. 
And I told the lady, hey, okay, um, 99% of my premium is based on a house replacement value, I'm sitting on my nice stump, is for $158,000. I said, ain't no way it could have cost me $158,000. I said, okay, so I'm paying for $158,000 insurance, right? Yeah. She goes, that's your house replacement value. I said, okay, if I had the Amish come in and build me a house, maybe a little bit smaller than this, like a two-bedroom, they can probably do it for 30000 And then with the plumbing, heating, and electrical, and all that stuff, which I can pretty much do myself, I said, so if it costs me 60000 to replace my house, are you going to give me the other, what's left of the 158000 She goes, well, no. I'm like, then why the freaking hell am I paying you guys $158,000 for all that insurance I'm not going to need. I said, the next line down is $100,000 for replacement costs. So contents of my garage. If my cars are in here, my lawnmower, I said, my lawnmower to replace that now would probably be six, eight grand. I don't even know. So anyways, so they're, look, they're looking in to cut that down. So, you know, my, my wife... Um, she pays a direct TV bill and I'm like, she changed it around. We lost some channels, big freaking deal. I get over it. It's like Facebook. You feel like you need Facebook. You gotta have Facebook, gotta have it. I got sick of Facebook and turned it off, shut my account off. I haven't been on Facebook in years. Guess what? I don't miss it. I don't miss the bullshit. I don't miss the arguing, the misunderstanding of text between people. And you know... You all know how it goes. Somebody will make a comment to be funny. You take it the wrong way. It wasn't funny, but he meant it to be funny. And it starts an argument and all this bullshit. And that's what happened to me and my family. So I don't talk to anybody except my wife. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't talk to none of my family. Just my wife. Because it, it was just whatever. So, yeah. Don't miss that at all. So I told my wife, just cancel DirecTV. Tell them to shove it up their ass and cancel it. I said, that'll save you. Well, she reduced it down to $100, you know, a month to watch free TV. And then it jumped back up to $115. I'm like, WTF? I try not to swear. I said, well, that was kind of a waste of freaking money. I said, that's kind of bullshit. I said, you canceled all this shit out. And they dropped like 20 bucks off. Then they come back and put $15 back on. I said, tell them to shove it up their ass. I said, I get a whole shitload of channels with my digital antenna. And then you've got, you know, the Paramount Plus and you've got the Discovery Plus, which only costs five dollars a month, ten dollars. You can take your freaking phone your TV bill from well now it's 115 down to ten dollars. So I tell Direct TV right there, keep raising your rates. You keep losing people. You know? So I said, I don't care. I said, you just got Paramount Plus. That's all sci-fi shit. That's the stuff I like. You know? That's all right. I don't care what I watch. A lot of times I'll get up in the middle of, of a movie or whatever, just get up and come out in the garage start working because I don't care what the ending is. It, it doesn't matter to me. A lot of people can't do that. They stay glued to the TV. Oh, it's getting to a good part. Yeah, so what? I'm going out in the garage. It's just, just the way I am. I don't let shit like that bother me. So, um... Yeah, that's it. So I mean, I wish, I wish some people would would join on the bandwagon. Um, yeah, I even made notes that, uh, you know, that I, no commercials and ninety point seven percent people aren't subscribed. I mean, I don't know. You get what you see. You know, I'm not some big fake-ass channel that makes all this stupid shit up and, and all these weird effects and all this fancy fancy crap. I'm just, like I said before, I'm just a guy struggling through life, trying to do a few things that make me happy. And I'm sharing my life with you guys and what I do and stuff like that. You know, maybe it helps some people. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe you like listening to me. Maybe you don't. Maybe you think I'm an idiot. I don't know. You know, but, you know, I do my best to reply to every comment, unlike other people 
you know, that on the, that are had their YouTube channels. You know who they are, like Mr. Beast and all these other freaking people that that they've gotten so big, they don't give a shit about you. They don't talk to you. They don't give you a heart or a thumbs up or like your comment or answer to your comment. It's like, what kind of shit is that? I appreciate everybody that comes to my channel and makes a comment or likes it and stuff. You ask me something, I'll answer you. You know, that's the best part I like about having a YouTube channel is talking to people out there. You know? I think sometimes that's more fun than what I'm doing in here. But I just want to let you know that, you know, I appreciate everybody that I have as subscribers now. Thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. I know I'm wacky. I know I'm all over the place. And I'm, you know, absent-minded sometimes. And I call stuff the wrong stuff and whatnot. And my moth is gone. It distracted me the other day. He took off. Must be it got too hot in here for him. But anyways, that's it. I mean, I know money's tight for everybody. Holy Christ, I know that firsthand. I mean, I only get so much a month, and it goes like that. In the first week, 80% of it's gone. So right off the bat, boom. You know, $1,200 of my money is gone. The mortgage and my debt consolidation company, American Credit Settlers, whatever the hell the name of the place is, they get 400 So there goes that. Which basically comes close to wiping me out. But by the time I pay all my other bills, it's gone. So then I run, you know. You know, I got money, like I said, built up in my garage account. And that money is there for my garage. I sold my shit. My wheel. My electric wheel. Electric unicycle. I, I sold stuff to get that money together to do my little dream of this which I'm kind of having fun at and if you saw the last video I might have confused you a little bit between that um, copper diamond pattern to where um, that really cool metallic pattern with the cr the crystal diamonds in it are 10 for $40, $4 a piece and then the ones with the bronzy color crystals in them are $20 a piece I can get 10 for 40 bucks and this guy wants $20 for one. What would you do? I'm going with the clear ones. Screw that. So, yeah, I'm not like any donations that come in for the garage. I'm not being an idiot. I'm not just going out blowing it on dumb shit. I'm actually putting the money into my garage. So, you know, you might not see it all the time. You might not hear me talk about it all the time. You know, I sold my table saw. I sold... I look around my garage. Is there anything in here I don't need? You know, what haven't I used in a long time? What can I get rid of? And I look around, and I'm pretty much getting down to bare walls now. I mean, this pile's getting smaller here because I'm installing... Oh, here's that spider web again. I'm installing some of this stuff, you know, all the plumbing pipes all gone and, and like that. And uh, so, you know... This is a camera system that I've got that's going in the bathroom. So if you're in a bathroom doing a deuce, you can see if anybody comes in your garage, you know. But I'm sure I'll have one of my guns hidden in the bathroom too. You never know. The world's getting crazy. you got to be prepared. You saw my previous video. I'm not going to go into that again. But everybody probably thinks I'm nuts now. But yeah, so, so that's it. Um... I'll know more what's going on Friday, uh, but the only exciting thing I'll be doing, which I'm not even going to record, is trying to find some damn grass seed to make this shit grow out here because it's it's really pissing me off how much six, was it six pounds of grass seed and the shit doesn't even grow. I mean, come on. Look at that. You know, and this is nice sandy soil over here, so I rake it up. I sprinkle the grass seed in. I back brush it very softly. I wet it. You know, it looks like the top of my freaking head. It's all patchy, blotchy, skid marks on it. <laughs> but at least one good thing is um, for the winter, I'm all set for the winter. You know, my tank is full. I got two tanks back there that's full. So I'm good for the winter time for heat as long as the furnace stays together. 
Um, and I think I told you since I'm a low income, um, I had that home energy reviewer people come out and they look and try to make your house more efficient and you know I had them go through this place and they might spray foam under the house you know on that concrete wall they spray the inside of the wall that helps insulate that you know because sometimes you can go in the bathroom and you can feel air from under the cabinet which is weird you know but yeah they just throw these places together but Anyways, yeah, if I keep my heat around 70, I go through, I won't even fill the tank. I got a bluebird living in my house. He sees me. Let me try to zoom in on this. I got a birdhouse. And there's a birdie right there. Oh, we just took a bastard. So, the middle birdhouse right there, there's a bluebird living in there, and his babies are in there. And I keep seeing him flying back and forth what do you think you want to go peek see if the, the eggs have hatched yet we'll go see not you junior junior saw a rabbit over there junior's going crazy there's mama bird i don't want mama bird to see what's going on she'd be like get out of my house let's see eggs still in there oh the little baby's in there oh the little mouse are open look at that She's like, give me some food, mommy. Oh, give me some food, mommy. Wow. Oh, that was a really cool part of the video. That's awesome. There's little birdies in there, Junior. There's little baby birdies in there. Well, the kitties love it out here. The hot. Hi, Fiona. What? What's that little meow? Are you the pretty kitty? Yeah, she's the pretty girl. She's so soft, that little kitty soft face. She's so soft. I know, I gotta clean your kitty box today. It's garbage day. Come on, baby. <laughs> What's with the funny meowing going on? She is such a mellow cat. She is just one cool kitty. All right, well, I'm starting to babble now. Anyways, everybody, um, yeah. Thank you for supporting my channel. Please subscribe if you can. I mean, uh, that'd be really nice. And I'll catch you later. Have a great day. Take care.